Hey everyone, welcome back to an exciting video. Today I have for you a complete guide on how to mod your Nintendo Wii and I'll be using an awesome guide called Wii.guide and this link will be in the description down below. It has the full complete guide step by step on how to mod your Wii completely. So the exploit that I'll be using in this video is going to be the letter bomb an exploit that uses the Wii message board and it does require an SD card. So make sure that it's formatted to FAT32 and we'll be all set and ready to go. If you are going to be following this guide step by step, you can click on the letter bomb here. If you do have any issues, you can always go back to this website and check out any troubleshooting they may have. Now, the main reason we want to mod our Nintendo Wii is to run Homebrew and Homebrew is software that's not authorized by Nintendo. So this can include games, utilities, emulators, and a whole bunch more. There's so much you can do with your Nintendo Wii after we install the exploit, uh, such as backing up your game discs. We can go through the Homebrew browser, which has a whole bunch of apps that you can download directly onto your system with no issues. You can install custom themes, and you can patch game disc contents that allowed you to load uh, game modifications, which is pretty cool. And you can run some of your favorite titles off a USB storage device. So in this guide, I'll be showing you step by step on how to run the exploit and have your Nintendo Wii fully jailbroken and ready for homebrew. All right, so let's begin by going into our Wii options and going into our Wii settings. Let's go to the internet and console information. And you want to make sure that you take note of your MAC address because we will need this. So we now have our MAC address. You also want to jot down your version. I'm on 4.3U. This is extremely important that you have the correct version selected when you're going through the letter bomb uh, selection. So we have our MAC address and our version. It's time to head to our computer. Head to the please.hackme.com website and type in your MAC address and select your system menu version. Mine is 4.3U. Make sure this is selected, the bundle, the hack me installer for me. And let's hit the I'm not robot and you can cut either the red wire or the blue wire. So cut either or, and we now have our new letter bomb. Very nice. That one was my test from earlier. But yeah, let's open this bad boy up. And what we want to do is right click and extract files. If you don't have an extracting program, I use 7-Zip. You can use WinRAR, but I like 7-Zip. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier. But here's our new extracted folder, letter bomb. Perfect. And now it's time to plug in our SD card into our PC. Here's our SD card. And we're simply going to open the letter bomb folder, the new extracted. Grab everything and copy it over to the root of this SD card. And make sure it's no more than 32 gigabytes and format it to FAT32. Now it's time to plug in our SD card into our Nintendo Wii. Back in your Wii, go to your calendar and make sure your date and time is current. Otherwise, it's going to be hard for you to find the new letter bomb sent to your console so make sure that's all good let's head back home make sure your SD card is inserted go to your Wii message board and sometimes the letter bomb will be sent from the previous date which is kind of weird let's open these all up okay so that is our letter bomb so open that The software must not be sold. Perfect. If you had these windows show up, you are good to go. If your Nintendo Wii froze, then you will have to redo the process and you might have selected the wrong version and region when you're going through the letter bomb online. After 30 seconds, you will see press one to continue. So let's press one. So here is the HackMe installer version 1.2. Thank you to the team tweezers for providing this for us the test results are in using ios versions installer 58 and 58 hbc the homebrew channel and boot me can be installed so we have the green lights for both the homebrew channel and boot me to be installed let's hit continue 
by pressing A. And here's our main menu, install the homebrew channel and boot me. Head on up to install the homebrew channel. Install the homebrew channel now, hit yes and continue. All right, we are successful, hit continue. Now let's install boot me. If you see this option that says install boot me as boot two, let's install this one. If you don't see boot me as boot two, just install it using bootme as iOS. A bootme install requires a SD card. Runtime files will be written. These are required to properly boot bootme. Insert SD card now. Hit yes, continue. Mounting SD card. Install bootme slash boot2 now. Hit yes and continue. We are successful. Hit continue. Let's go to return to the main menu and exit. We are now accessing the homebrew channel. Very nice. The next thing we're going to be doing is backing up our NAND storage from our Wii onto our SD card. So here in the homebrew channel, press the home button, select shutdown and restart your system. After your system has restarted, we're now into boot me and we can't use the Wii controller to access these options. We have to use the power button and the reset button. So the power button is going to help us to scroll through left to right. And the reset button is going to access that option. Select the gears and press reset. Select the backup me button, the icon with the green arrow. Press reset. Your system is now backing up onto the SD card. And if you come across any bad blocks, that's okay. No problem there. Your backup is now being verified and you can press the start eject button to skip. Back at the menu, select the back button and press reset. And select the homebrew channel and press reset. Back on our PC, we're gonna grab our keys and NAND bin. Those are the backups we just created. Copy those onto your PC in a safe location. That way, if your Nintendo Wii comes across an issue, we can always have those backups ready to go and restore our system. Once those are copied over, delete the keys.bin along with the nan.bin and we're all set. Next, we're gonna be downloading and installing three different applications. The links will be in the description down below for each one. Make sure you download the Homebrew Browser version 0.3.9, the D2X-CIOS-Installer, along with the Preloader, and extract each of these folders. On your SD card, right-click and create a new folder. And we're going to name this one called app app and once you have your preloader your homebrew browser and d2x extracted open each of these folders and then grab the name and drag it into the app folder let's skip let's head back and open up the homebrew browser let's grab this folder drag it into app Perfect. And the D2X, open up apps and grab the installer and throw it into app. Make sure that this folder is called apps, not app. Made a mistake there at the beginning, but it should be APPS, apps. Good to go. Back on our Wii, open up the homebrew channel and insert your SD card. You now have three different options. And the first one we're going to be installing is the preloader installer. This is a preloader mod. Press A to launch. Let's load it. So it says, please read this carefully. This program tool comes without any warranties. You accept that you install this at your own risk. The author cannot be held liable for any damage it might cause. If you do not agree with these terms, turn your Wii off. Press plus A to install or update preloader. Press minus Y to remove preloader and restore system menu. And press home start to chicken out and quit the installer. So let's press A and plus together. We are good to go. It's been fully installed. 
and we're back at the homebrew channel. It's time to configure preloader. We're going to turn off our Wii completely. And while we're turning the Wii back on, we want to hold the reset button to enter those settings. On your Wii controller, press A to start up your controller. And you can use the D-pad to scroll up and down. Very good. So we will go to the system menu hacks. And here we can enable all sorts of fun stuff. So you can select whatever you'd like to enable. And the three things that they recommend to enable through the guide I'm using is region free everything. So press A when you selected that option. And block disk updates. That's the first option. So enable that. And block online updates. Let's enable that as well. And you can go through these different options to see what would work for you to um, to enable onto your Wii system. I'm going to select the 480p graphics fix in the system menu. This will fix a small issue with the 480p on the Wii menu. So let's enable that. I'm going to enable the move disk channel. By default, you can't really move it. Let's change the replace health screen with back menu. And this changes the screen to the animation played when returning to the Wii menu automatically presses the A button to get past the initial health and safety screen. Let's enable that. Save a little bit of time. All right, so we are good to go here. I'm going to save our settings, scrolling down, save settings, press B to go back, and let's launch our homebrew channel. Now let's install the D2X CIOS installer. And this is required if you want to load games from your USB loader. So if you have a USB connected to your Wii, this is the way to load those games. So let's launch the installer by pressing A and hitting load. All right, here we are at the welcome page. Press any button to continue. With your D-pad under the select CIOS, press the left button. And we want to select the version 10 beta 52 d2x version 10 beta 52 it's this one here go down to c ios base and we'll change this to 57 and again down to slot to 249 that looks good and the c ios revision will change this to 65 535 press a twice to install Okay, once it's installed, we press A to continue. Next, we're going to change the base to 56 and the 249, the slot to 250. Make sure the 65535 is not changed along with the uh, version 10 beta 52. Press A twice. Perfect. Once that's done, press A again. And we'll go through this one more time. So at the base, select base. And we're changing this to 38. And the slot to 251. Make sure these are staying the same. Beta 52 and 65535. Press A twice. All right, we are all finished here. You can press B to exit. Now the majority of your game should work straight away with the defaults and some may require some specific CIOS to function or to utilize some certain features. So I'll have the troubleshooting page in the description down below if you're having issues on loading some games off your USB stick. Let's now finalize the whole process by going through the homebrew browser. Let's load it up here.
Okay, we are now accessing the homebrew browser. We are good to go. So now you can start downloading all this stuff directly onto your Nintendo Wii. And this is great. You have demos, emulators, games, media, and utilities. So go through this and select what you want and just have fun with it. You are now able to run all sorts of fun stuff on your console. How cool is that? Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I will be going through the homebrew browser here for the Nintendo Wii in a separate video and going through all the different options that we have and going through the settings and stuff like that and just having fun with this application. So that is it for this guy. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos like this and many others to come in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.